exciting news for all the social security beneficiaries regarding their benefit payment. Let's talk about this new report coming right from the Senior Citizen League which is highlighting some of the important aspects of social security benefit payments. It's whether it's social security, SSI, SSTI, VA, survivor, benefits, how much increase. Particularly, these report is focusing toward the benefit increases, how much payment for all the group of recipients. Before we deep dive into all the important details, make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe and with that being said let's jump right into all the details all right guys so today i have got some exciting news to share with you regarding social security so recently we have got a new report released by the senior citizen league which is a prominent advocacy group focused on social security and its related concerns and talking about this new report from the senior citizen league what they are suggesting is over past few years they have consistently highlighted that this issue for social security beneficiaries that all these social security benefits are falling behind the inflation and i'm sure many of you can relate to this very important concern it's becoming increasingly difficult to make your end meets as of right now in this current rising high inflation it's become increasingly difficult to make our end meets when the monthly benefits we receive simply don't keep up with the rising cost of living in fact the latest report reveals something quite alarming according to the senior citizen league over past 22 years and half social security benefits beneficiaries have missed out on an average $516 to $517 per month and this is simply due to a tiny little mistake of cost of living adjustment how social security administration take in account the COLA mechanism. Now cost of living adjustment mechanism is designed to keep you up with the place of the inflation but you know what the kind of a discrepancy that we are seeing from the current data is kind of a fascinating. So now let me break it down all the important numbers so you can understand. Now, as for the latest report by the Senior Citizen League, Social Security beneficiaries have missed out on an average of $517 boost in their monthly benefits just to maintain their same level of buying power as they used to have in the year 2000, which is quite alarming because you know what, currently the cost of living adjustment is not keeping pace with the inflation. And speaking of how much benefits you have actually lost till the point, you know what, currently they are talking about $517 per month that you should have received additional each and every month so in a year about six thousand two hundred and four dollars that you should be receiving more per year now that staggering six thousand two hundred and four dollars can you imagine how much impact that extra money could have on the people lives now let me explain the specific report this data right over here specifically suggests some of the concerning aspect of social security and the cola if cola had accurately reflected the real inflation over the past two decades beneficiaries would have received additional $517 per month or $6,204 per year in their monthly check. This is a significant sub and it clearly demonstrates how crucial it is to address this issue. Now here is the thing guys, lawmakers have been aware of these problems for many many years and there have been many proposals in order to rectify the situation. They could have rectified the situation by one simple change. They could have shifted the cost of living adjustment calculation right from CPIW to CPI it could have made a substantial amount of difference if they have implemented this CPI change back in the year 2000. It would have prevented the dramatic loss that we are having right now. Although here is the thing regarding the report. Even if they have implemented CPIE still, although the CPIE figures still fall short on reflecting the actual inflation rate because it provides the more accurate measure compared to the current calculation, still it's somewhat good but still it's frustrating to think that such straightforward adjustment could have been made a world of a difference in your social security benefit payment now taking a look at some of the important numbers right over here these are the 10 fastest growing costs for older americans since 2000 so these are some items which older Americans purchase most frequently. This one including prescription drugs, food items like eggs, heating oil, dental services, Medicare Part B premiums, homeowner insurance, medical expenses, gasoline and other stuff. And here is the thing guys, the interesting point to note right over here
here is that since the year 2000 the percentage increase average percentage increase we are talking about is 110 percent for the food items alone and the here is the thing in the year 2023 the social security scola increased by 78 percent averaging 3.4 percent annually but the cost of goods and services purchased by typical retirees actually rose up by 141.4 percent which is 6.2 percent that's nearly twice the amount of increase in the expenses so basically for every hundred dollar retirees household spent on groceries in 2000 that household can only now buy about 64 dollars of worth items today now imagine for a moment how much 560 to 517 dollars per month could mean for you your benefit check in your monthly payments well that would definitely elevate some of the financial issues that you are having right now and it would have made a significant difference in your ability to afford necessities like food utilities healthcare stuff medical stuff occasionally having to treat yourself for many additional stuff and this would be definitely life-changing and that's kind of a staggering to see that in the year 2023 you'd be losing about six thousand two hundred and four dollars in the 2023 you are actually lacking 36 percent of the buying power that you used to have in the year 2000 now let's consider this impact over the time even though the annual increases might seem small perhaps half of the percentage point or a few tenths of the percent over the decades still the effect of the compounding is tremendous for example let's take a look at the past 2022 data we have got cost of living adjustment in the range of 5.9 percent and this year we got 8.7 percent increase in the cola and here is the thing guys these were usually high raises compared to the previous year in the last 40 years clearly 8.7 percent was the largest since 1981 but just think for a moment it highlights the urgency of the situation and it needs immediate action otherwise beneficiaries couldn't able to keep up with the rising cost of goods and services these retirees would need extra 517 dollars per month to maintain their buying power same level of buying power that they used to have in the year 2000 now honestly these numbers are kind of a shocking one thing for sure cost of living adjustment for social security beneficiaries has fallen significantly short keeping pace with the real rate of the inflation impact it's kind of a mind-boggling to see that you are actually losing six thousand two hundred and four dollars now you have heard similar reports in the past and here is the thing social security for years it's no secret that current benefits fall behind the actual cost of living adjustment many of you can share the same sentiment i completely understand your frustration however guys anyone who makes and meet with 900 to 1000 dollars a month it has been incredibly challenging especially with this rising high inflation in the recent years this report sets apart and demonstrates cumulative impact of the inflation over an extended period from year 2000 to present and it estimated that beneficiaries has lost average of 517 dollars due to lack of the cola calculation without accurate cola calculation that keeps pace with the rising costs beneficiaries lose the purchasing power especially throughout the retirement that could last 25 to 30 years and this loss is cumulative that means it grows deeper and deeper deeper as retirees age clearly the numbers are astronomical and we are talking about thousands and thousands of dollars throughout the person's lifetime now it's the time to bridge the gap between social security benefits and the rising cost of living what do you think about this do let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching this video make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video